Hi there. Today I'm going to talk about how to have a bit less stress in your relationships or, or perhaps how to transform that stress in your relationships to a, something that I guess is just more connected and and feels a deeper sense of love. And I think for me, this has been such a huge part of what in the past seemed to create an awful lot of stress for me. Um, how I saw other people, how I was with other people, how I particularly was with those close to me, um, was a, a huge, a huge cause of stress in my life, a huge cause of me just not feeling okay. And and I think the root cause of that is the most important thing. And the root cause of that for, for all of us really is not realizing that it's actually our internal state that is creating our experience of everyone and everything. Um, that that thing that we say and, and we learn to say from a very young age, like you're making me feel angry or you're making me feel upset or what you're doing is upsetting me in some way. That That kind of phraseology, I guess, that kind of thing has been such a part of our lives that it now really does look like that is the case, doesn't it? It really does look like it's absolutely true that those people out there are creating our, our experience, that are creating our internal experience, that we feel bad, we feel anxious, we feel stressed, we feel upset, we feel angry, etc., because of somebody out there. And oh my goodness, it's just not true. It's just not true that other people make us feel things. And, and the place to kind of look for this a little bit yourself is to sort of notice where, you know, day on day, somebody's behavior may just look extremely annoying one day and the next day you're just not bothered by it. I think one of the places to see this is if you have a boss or you've ever had a boss, like really noticing in your boss, like one day they do something and they behave a particular way and you're just so upset by it and so frustrated by it, etc. And then the next day they do exactly the same thing and you just don't feel the same way. Our internal experience is so variable. We go up and down so much and how we experience another person is created by that. Now, in this particular session, I'm kind of thinking a little bit about our romantic relationships. I'll be talking a little bit about that. But also, I think every single relationship we have, I've seen quite a bit around this with my children, with my you know clients, with my my remaining parent, you know, all all the people in your life <laughs> um, can seem to be bringing about some discomfort in your body. So let's talk about that discomfort in your body and what that really is, first of all. It, it's like a signal, really, from your system. And I was talking to my fiancé about this on a walk this morning, that, that there's like a junction, really. So th there's two paths. There's the inside-out path, which is what I'm pointing towards, and then there's the outside-in path. So when we feel an emotion in the body, and I really do encourage you to spend some time being with those emotions in the body as they arise because they really do give us such a lot of information that when we experience a feeling like that in our bodies that we think sometimes that that is being caused by another person I am just snoozing an alarm. I realised was about to go off during this call, <laughs> so during this session. So I'm just, I just paused it. Um, so the first thing is that feeling in the body. So the feeling in the body is an indication as to your state of mind. So let's go back to that junction I was talking about. There's like two paths. There's the path where. In the moment when we feel an emotion in the body, we feel a reaction in the body, we feel something, tension, tightness, you know, ramping up of emotion, energy, emotion in the body. There's a junction then of awareness, really, 
And either we think that's coming from the other person, in which case it'll seem like we need to say or do something towards the other person, or we realize that it's coming from inside us. And, and in that case, we tend to do a lot less out into the outside world. And this is how we shift from reacting to other people and what they're up to in the world to this more mindful, peaceful, deeper connection. And, and one of the most powerful things, I think, is, is the pause. It's almost like to, to choose the path, not that we're consciously choosing a path, but to even see that there are paths, even to have that level of awareness, sometimes it does warrant a pause. And this is not me telling you to pause, but it's seeing that the further you go down this path, the more the more likely you are to pause, the more likely you are to stop, the more likely you are to just reflect for a moment and just give yourself the time. And the time really is an opportunity for things to move through. And, and that's always happening. That That's not something that can stop happening, really. Thoughts and emotions are moving through your system all the time. That's what they do. That's how you're made as a human being and that's just so helpful that allows um, response rather than reaction and i think that's it really that that's the power of all this that's the power of seeing in the moment what's actually going on now one of the things I think that can often bring about some discomfort in our relationships is around expectations. I know for me, a lot of the time it is, particularly for the people close to us, like what I notice about this is there's like ever decreasing circles, like the people who really have nothing to do with my life fundamentally, like people on the road, people doing things in the shops, people, just people, you know, humans living in a life that, um, that are, are nothing, nothing at all to do with me, that they, they don't matter at all these days, to be fair. I get less and less upset by them. But I feel like the people close to us, I think it's harder, I think, to kind of, it feels, feels harder. <laughs> it, that's obviously an illusion created by thinking, but it feels harder to, to kind of navigate round that those relationships from a place of response rather than reaction but I think one of the things there is the expectations you know I think they should know by now that I want them to behave a particular way but of course that's assuming that in that moment a they remember that you want them to behave a particular way and b that there is this sense of somebody being able to choose there is nobody there's no choosing going on really there is no chooser to choose everybody's just doing what they're doing with the perception that looks true to them in the moment and that's really all there is um that was my light falling <laughs> my ring light just decided to start sliding to one side it's all good fun it's all part of the uh, part of life isn't it all this stuff going on around us in life is how we respond to it of course that makes a difference so i hope you found that helpful i hope there's something there that um has given you just a little nudge now if that little nudge is helpful you know i have a course called mindful relationships love without limits from the inside out which you might like to check out thank you so much for being with me on this journey take care and lots of love